Hello, boys and girls. It's Pastor Matt. It's good to be with you on this Easter Sunday. Today, I have a great message for you, but I'm not going to use any words. In fact, I'm going to use different objects, and I'm going to tell the most wonderful story of all. And then when we're done with the story, then uh, you know I, I will go through each part, and we'll talk about it. But but while I'm telling the story the first time, if you know what I'm doing, I want you just to shout out where you are when you know what Pastor Matt is doing in the story and you recognize what's happening. You just go ahead and say it. And so we're going to go ahead and get started. And uh, the first thing I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to introduce this character right here, this beautiful person right here. And then just for our younger children, this says Jesus. This says Jesus. And that's going to be the last thing I'm going to say here for a little bit. And so let's begin our story. Happy Easter. So boys and girls, what was the story that I told? I think you know the story very well. It's the story of Jesus, isn't it? And it was a fun story to do, and I'm sure many of you were shouting out the whole time we went through it. What did I start with? We started with, uh, we started with, with 
Christmas, didn't we? And I, I set up the nativity scene, and it was about the birth of Jesus. And, and as I did, the, the birth of Jesus, we celebrate Jesus coming to us, right? And that Jesus became a, 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 a he became, God became flesh. He became one of us and walked among us. And as Jesus walked among us and, and, and lived among us, here's the birth of Jesus. And then what happened next? What happened next was, now this one might have been a little harder. I had Jesus, and this is the Word of God, a Bible, going around teaching and preaching. And Jesus went around teaching. And then you saw this guy coming in. He was kind of down like this. And Jesus did many miracles and he healed. But the most, and then we had our Palm Sunday. You remember Palm Sunday? I bet you all the guys got all of this. I had my, I had my palm branches. And we had the palm branches and we laid those out and, and a donkey came across with Jesus. That was wonderful. And then what happened next? When Jesus came, he came and he gave his life on the cross for us. And he died, didn't he? He lay and he died. Now why did Jesus die on the cross? He died to save us from what? To save us from our sins, didn't he? And Jesus died. But did he stay dead? Did he stay dead? No, he did not stay dead, did he? This is the tomb, right? And we put Jesus in the tomb, didn't we? We put him in the tomb. Did Jesus stay dead? Put in the tomb? No, he didn't stay dead, did he? And then I passed him out. And I counted, right? I counted one. And then I counted two. And then I counted three, and then he came back up, I opened it up, and the tomb was empty, right? Happy Easter. There's a wonderful passage in the Bible that I want to share with you that we celebrate on this Resurrection Sunday. And, and on this Resurrection Sunday, we celebrate that Jesus Christ gave his life for us on the cross, and it comes to us from John chapter 11 and it says this he says jesus said to her i am the resurrection and the life whoever believes in me though he die yet will he live and everyone who lives and believes in me shall never die do you believe this and boys and girls jesus died on the cross but did he stay dead jesus died on the cross but did he stay dead no, on the third day he raised back to life that because of Jesus' death, our sin was defeated and our sins are forgiven if we believe in Jesus. But because he rose from the grave, because that tomb is empty, because he rose back to life, when we believe in him, even though we die, we'll be risen again. We will live forever with Jesus in heaven. Isn't that wonderful to know? And that's what Easter is all about, boys and girls. I, I'm always, as a pastor, you know, excited that you have a wonderful Easter day and that you enjoy having a great time of Easter and you enjoy all those wonderful festivities, the good food, and, and all the fun things. But the greatest gift and what Easter is all about is that our Savior, Jesus Christ, died on the cross and he rose again. Sin and death did not defeat Jesus. He defeated them on the cross. And that's what we celebrate today, boys and girls. This is a wonderful day, and I hope you enjoyed seeing that picture of Jesus Christ and his life and what he did for us. And boys and girls, I pray that today, that's what we're really celebrating, is the new life that we have in Jesus Christ. Let me pray with you, and then we will say our goodbyes together. Brothers, and let's pray. Father, we just thank you, Lord, for, our, for the boys and girls today, and I just pray that they would have a, just a wonderful Easter day, but that they would never forget why we celebrate. It's because you died on the cross and rose again. And because you're alive, if we believe in you, we will live forever. Thank you, Lord, for that. And thank you for the life that we have in your son, Jesus Christ. In his name we pray. Amen. God bless you guys. Happy Easter.